We are on our way to Bonham State Park. And again, it's a rainy day, so we'll see what the entrance looks like. But um, it's only about an hour away from Dallas, and it seems like it has some nice spots right close to the lake. So we will explore it with you and see what it's like. It's out in the country. Small little park. down these old country roads. So we're pulling into Bonham State Park. It just has a small area where you maybe check in. Doesn't seem to have anyone here. stopped raining long enough for us to set up and these camp spots are interesting they're very close together but then they have a big area behind that is just open but the lake is right there so super easy access from these spots it's a little more communal it'd be really fun to come with a few friends and you could each have these you know campsites next to each other and just enjoy the swim area um, there's a park I think through there let me see there's some buildings the kids are exploring right now but this is very unique very different to any of the Texas State Parks we've been to before so, um, I'm excited. Well, we just came um, to the other side of those structures that we saw, and it's actually the park headquarters right there by the campground. It's so pretty right now with all those wildflowers overlooking the lake. The clouds are so pretty because it just rained. But inside of here, it's kind of a neat place the kids are excited to play in here because it's kind of like old ruins these stone I guess used to be a building and now it's just like an open courtyard but all of this just makes for a, oh my goodness a fun time it is uneven <laughs> but it's really nice that all of this is literally just within sight of that's our that's our camp spot right there so all of this is super accessible usually the campgrounds are a little bit away from all of the I guess headquarters but this will be kind of nice so I am definitely a fan <laughs> of this beautiful view and how close it is to the campsite. All of the activities that the kids are able to do. While if we want, we can just stay at the campsite and watch or join in as we are able. But I think they're gonna be able to really have like free range over this area and enjoy it while we're able to relax. I don't usually do videos at night, but we are walking the dog and it's just so cute and peaceful. I feel like I'm just like on somebody's ranch or something because it's a small park and everything is in this one centralized location, I just feel like I'm visiting 
like an old relative's house or something because um, the construction is like from the 30s and um, it doesn't quite do, the video doesn't quite do it justice. It just feels very peaceful and homey. Well, it is not raining today and um, this is what it looks like coming in from that front little check-in station. You just turn left to go to the campground and the lake is right here. It's a very small area for camping, which makes it very quaint. But we are just enjoying the peace and the quiet. We're coming up to the fishing dock and the other side of the playground and the Ramada. They don't have firewood for sale here, but um, just a neighbor outside the front gate sells firewood um, on an honor system. You leave a donation and you can take some firewood. And this is the camp headquarters. Another area they do have is this group camping barracks area. So it seems you can rent these. It would be fun for an event. It looks like they have air conditioning and this area is a little bit off to itself. Kind of across from the camping area. These woods are just really pretty. It's like tanglewood. It feels like you're deep in the woods and going back in time. So it's different than kind of the piney woods feel. This is the group camping area for tents. So it's tent only, but it has several um, fire pits and um, grills and you could get a group together and put tents there and camp. So friend, some of our friends came and joined us here at the park and all the kids are having a blast playing volleyball with a soccer ball I think. But we had a fun picnic, they all swam in the lake so it's a really nice place to invite other people to come and join us because there is so much space here, just the common area where they could all play. Here is the entrance to one of the trails, the Lake Loop, and apparently you can normally bike in this area as well, but um, at the front they said that that um, they're closed because it's so muddy, but that we could walk through them. They're very narrow trails compared to other parks. They're usually cleared out a little bit more. Okay, and a lot of poison ivy. But incredibly beautiful because it feels like you're just going right through the middle of the woods and it doesn't feel like it's really a man-made trail, so it feels like you're really getting to explore. This loop opens up to, I guess, a clearing right by the lake, and you can see where our campsite is over there, the swimming area and the ramada. It's a really pretty trail. Finishing up our walk around the trail. It's so beautiful. The sky is so beautiful after the rain. This is downtown Bonham, Texas. It has an 
cool old courthouse. And this is just a couple minutes away from the Sam Rayburn Museum. Well, here is the Sam Rayburn Library, just right down from downtown Bonham. I'm gonna go inside in a minute. There's also um, Fort English next door that looks really interesting. So there's a lot of things that you can um, explore, historical things right here. And it's only 10 minutes from Bonham State Park. This is inside the Sam Rayburn Library. cabin the family raised 18 kids kind of hard to believe show how big it is from out here pretty tight quarters just down the way Guys, I have it. It is too big. I have my phone. Oh, I'm just not. I need to start it. Let me find. Yeah, I think I know 50. Mm -mm -mm. Still, I love you. Well, our stay has ended, but we'll look forward to coming back again to Bonham State Park.